it's 2022. If you haven't been using an ad blocker, a content blocker, I don't know what's wrong with you. So let's get started. Uh, this is my computer. I launched Firefox. This is uBlock Origin. Probably saw it in my thumbnail. So this is approximately how many um, websites I've blocked. So 70,000 websites, 9% uh, of my total web traffic. So let me just visit youtube.com. It might look something like this, okay? Um, yeah, all of this bloat, all of this trash, low quality content. I don't use YouTube or youtube.com or anything. I just use uh, YouTube DL if I have to download something. Um, MPV, I just type M and then paste my link and then it shows up, blah, 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 it doesn't matter. So yeah, you see there's no home screen. I mean, there's no recommendations page. That's also another feature of uBlock Origin. If you're going to use YouTube, I suppose, you go to settings or you can click on this um, element picker. Let's say I want to get rid of this logo, right? Preview. So I click on create and that's gone. So what that does is it creates this filter. You go to settings in your uBlock Origin settings page, um, then go to my filters. Um, right here okay so that was a filter you can remove it and save go back to YouTube and you should see this pop up back again so I've just blocked the you know the recommendations page I can just cut this out and then paste it in the description you just copy it and it should be fine if you like the recommendations page by default use it but I don't have a Google account so it's no use I'll just use my filters again and yeah that's about it you can do a lot of things in fact so let's just go to my mastodon page right you can you can inspect if there are third party requests if there are uh, what do you call trackers on the page so there's no trackers on this page so it's good if you haven't been using it already please do it's free and open source software it's in the firefox add-on store and chrome web store by default it just works out of the box you do not have to configure it much um so just install it and then go continue in your browsing uh, so you can stop watching this video if you'd like but if you want to continue i'll show you some more tweaks so go to the settings the dashboard enable i am an advanced user enable these four um, these four privacy settings go to filter list and then where it's this plus button click on that it'll expand all of these lists yeah that's about it you can enable some more regional lists if you if you're living in china if you're living in germany uh, there are some regional websites that are in this list if you live in these regions, uh, then check that out. Now let's just visit some news website. Yeah, so it's loading. And as you can see, like once a page slowly loads, it's loading more and more trackers, more and more requests are being blocked. Uh, so let's just disable JavaScript. It's a news website. Yeah, what else? Basically, you do not need every single resource to load on the site to show you meaningful content. Uh, let's just click on this article. What's an article? It's just text, right? Text and images, that's all you need. Boom, it, it's loaded much faster. And you can see this uh, purplish color tint to this tracker icon because we have blocked JavaScript. Getting back to what I was telling in the starting, uh, I just blocked like nine or 10% of my whole traffic. I don't visit ad infested sites, no YouTube, you know, try to get rid of all of those sites. Go back to like easy blogs, uh, the Fediverse, all of that, which actually respects the user. Go to my website, click on videos. It's always in the description or on my YouTube channel also, these links. Uh, yeah, and then you can find me on PureTube and on LBRY. Second, if you really like people's work, you should fund them, directly just pay them, or uh, you know, you have recurring monthly subscriptions that they can buy, but I don't really need your money right now, but, but I need your help, like not right now, but once I have more time to film videos, um, you can send those ideas, you can like join my chat room, you can actually just do that right now. Help other people too. Uh, there are like 22 people right now. You can help them out. You can like us stuff there. Yeah, all non-financial stuff. That's how you build community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in my free time, I make more videos and that's about it. If you're using the bloated ad infested web in 2022, better use uBlock Origin. Bye. <laughs>